the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 174, Jonah 1 to 4. Disobedient to Jonah, love for all nations. Jonah, who had a long concept of a chosen people, came to realize God's great will through the repentance of the people of Nineveh and the love of God who forgave them. First point, God's heart towards the whole world was recorded in the book of Jonah. Nineveh was one of the oldest cities in the Mesopotamian region during Jonah's times. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh, a prospering city, by carrying out unfair trade and to tell them God's message. But Jonah had plans of his own and so disobeyed God. Jonah understood God's instructions clearly that he would have mercy on them if they repented. But Jonah wanted Nineveh to be punished by God. So he went in the opposite direction to Tarshish. God therefore sent a huge storm. God also exposed that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Jonah told the people to throw him into the sea. God, however, prepared a huge fish which was to be Jonah's new home for three days and three nights. Second point, the three days in the valley of a fish for Jonah was connected to Jesus' resurrection of three days. Jonah prayed to God to save him after the great storm. God therefore made him live in the belly of a huge fish for three days. Jonah said a prayer of thanks. Jonah moreover promised God that he would obey him and so God made the fish spit him out. This instant and Jesus' resurrection is connected. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet of Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Third point, Jonah experienced God's great mercy in the capital city of Assyria, Nineveh. Now Jonah could no longer disobey God's command, and so he made his way to Nineveh and started to deliver God's message. However, instead of putting his heart into it, Jonah only did the bare minimum. Jonah walked the town only for a day instead of a three and unwillingly proclaimed God's word. He claimed that in 40 days, Nineveh would fall unless they repented and turned to God. But something incredible happened. The people of Nineveh listened and repented from king to the lowest servant. So God had mercy on them. Fourth point, God's answer to Moses' prayer and Jonah's prayer were one. When the people of Nineveh repented after hearing Jonah's message, God granted them mercy. But Jonah became angry at this and complained to God. Jonah was angry at the fact that they were forgiven. Therefore, he prayed to God with a twisted reference of his laws. When the people made a golden calf in the past, Moses had prayed for their lives with his own life on the line. Jonah, who knew this, twisted its meaning and used it to complain to God. Jonah did not care too much about God's love for all nations or that he miraculously saved him from the huge fish. He forgot that Abraham's covenant with God was based on all nations. The reason God sent the prophet to North Israel, South Judah, and even to Nineveh was because of his love for all nations. Jonah comes to understand this soon. Fifth point, Jonah's record was true obedience towards God's love for all nations. 
Jonah believed that Nineveh would fall in 40 days, and he actually wished for this. Jonah went around the city for only a day and then waited for their fall. But God then took a leafy plant to teach him a lesson. God wanted to teach his heart to him. Should I not have a concern for the great city of Nineveh? This question reveals how God wished to save all nations and how he waited for the sinners to repent. God taught Jonah, who had the long concept of a chosen people, and showed him his vision for all nations. And so when Jonah heard this, he did not add his own thoughts or interpretations, but left his book to end with God's question. Therefore, we should not just think of Jonah as a disobedient prophet. Jonah worked as God's great partner. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.